Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My brothers and my sisters, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's me again, Pastor Sister Magdalene Emily Tanui. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, we are going to read the book of Matthew. Hallelujah. We are going to read the book of Matthew 24, verse 3 to 14. Amen. Amen. Let us read in Jesus' name. As Jesus sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples come to him in private. Tell us when all these will be, they ask, and what will happen to show that it is the time for your coming and the end of the age. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Sorry. Excuse me. Okay. So, I will read it again. That place. The book of Matthew 24, verse 3. I started. As Jesus sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples come to him in private. Tell us when all this will be. They asked. And what will happen to show that it is the time of your coming and the end of the age? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus answered, Be on your ground and do not let anyone deceive you. Many men claiming to speak for me will come and say, I am the Messiah. And they will deceive many people. You are going to hear the noise of you are going to hear the noise of bitter noise called by sorry close by and the news of battles far away but do not be troubled such things must happen but they do not mean that the end has come countries will fight each another Kingdoms will attack one another. There will be famines and antiquities. Everywhere, all things are like the first pain of childbirth. Then you will be arrested and handed over to the punished and be put to dead. All nations will hate you because of me. Many will give up their faith at that time. They will betray one another. They will betray one another and hate one another. The many, the many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Such will be the spared of evils that many people, many people's love will grow cold. 
but whoever holds out the whoever holds out to the end will be saved and this good news about the kingdom will be preached through all the world for a witness to all nation and then the end will come hallelujah praise the name of the living god amen amen praise the name of the living god hallelujah amen 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 so my sister and my brother that is what i was telling you before that this world is not our home because this world it has the end it will come the day and that day is not going to be easy for us amen amen hallelujah amen amen so we have to be aware because when this world is not our home we have to prepare ourselves because that time our lord jesus christ will come and he's going to ask us what did you do in this world what were you doing in this world you know there are many questions jesus will ask okay you will say hey me i was going to disco drinking getting drunk doing whatever i was doing uh -huh. what about you you will say ah papa me i was preaching the word of your word i was preaching the gospel and nobody wanted me nobody liked me yeah so the lord almighty he is the one who is going to judge his children so he will come and ask everybody so many they cannot serve lord because they don't have that time many they are doing their own things they don't want to serve the lord because they don't have time not that the time is not their own you have to stop everything which you are doing so that you can serve lord if you don't stop everything which you are doing you cannot serve lord how will you serve lord hallelujah amen hallelujah amen so many people are busy people are busy with business people are busy with money people have been busy to bring their children to school to university people are busy to get sponsored for their children uh, they want their children to go to overseas they want their children to be the best in school it is okay it's not a problem it is good as well but don't forget where are you going in in, in the end why are you going to spend in the eternal life why are you going when the end come because this this home is not our home we have our own home yes when that time come the lord will ask you what were you doing in the world what did you do for me and that will be the time for everybody to talk but because now we still have chance we have read in the bible my sister my brother you can repeat it again and read it if this word touch you and even if it didn't touch you read it maybe it will help you yes now so um because this world is not our home and it will have the end we have to prepare ourselves we hear in the book of lord the bible say there will be false prophets and it's not that they will be they are already there they are doing such things they are doing a lot of catastrophe a lot of things they are, they are telling people they prophesy they prophesy even they don't tell people again that jesus is coming again no oh. eh so those false prophets they are there already hallelujah amen so be aware my sister my brother you hear the word of the lord say that there will be false prophets they will come and do things of evils and people they will agree and they will say now wow and it will not be now wow it is better you open your eyes right now earlier because the lord almighty god is the only one who will give you the eyes of the holy spirit so that you can see yes the lord says sometimes in the bible you have eyes my children but you cannot see you have ears but you cannot hear it is true because if we see the things of the world everybody wants it want it it is okay but when the end time come where are you going to take those things tell me my sister my brother the day will come the day will come the entity will come 
you like it or not, you believe it or not, the time it will come, my sister, my brother, it will come home. Hey, let us be ready. Let us be ready because it will come. Let us be ready. If you know, I always preach that Jesus is coming back. And to tell people if they are not ready, let them be ready. My sister, my brother, are you ready? Be ready. And I am repeating again, I don't command you. You have alone to choose yourself what you like. There is a narrow way and there is a hell way. There is Jesus and there is Satan. There is beginning and there is the end. There is the day it will start it, it will come. And it maybe will be too late. My sister, my brother, don't let it to be late. Because the word of God, it is going to be preached. It, it will continue and continue and continue to be preached. All things will finish. But the word of the Lord, it will remain forever and forever. Nobody will scatter the word of the Lord. People like it or not, we have to change our ways. We have to change our ways. Because these ways are two. Which way are you going to go? The way of the narrow is very small, like this. I'm showing example. And the way of hell is so like this. It's for many people. Because many people they are enjoying in this world this time. Oh. People they are enjoying in this time, they don't want to know. Even if you preach, they don't want to know. But I'm telling you today in the name of Jesus, my sister, my brother, if you are not hearing, God is going to help you to hear because there is a time it will come. There is a time it will come. Because this world now has scattered. The generation is kaput. Everything is catastrophic. Even yourself, yourself, my sister, my brother, when you go outside and hear or and look or when you open the television and hear news, nakrest, you will see catastrophic things. There are people who they cut people their necks like this. Wah! The neck will go. The, the, the head will fall down. They are cutting life and putting it in internet. Do you want to tell me the world is not end? Do you want to tell me the beginning is not in the end now? It is in the end. The time has come. My sister, my brother, give your life to Jesus Christ. Hey, hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me too. God bless you. My sister, my brother, I am telling you, it will come, the day will come. So be blessed. If you know you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, very quick, oh, it may be too late like that time of Sodom and Gomorrah. It may be too late like that time of Nu, when he built the Asher Nu. It may be too late. Hiya. Eh, that is it. That's what I'm telling you. Let us be ready. And I'm going to sing this song again. It says, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, Jesus is coming soon. Be ready, be ready, be ready, Jesus is coming soon. Oh, my brother and my sisters, be here ready, Jesus is coming soon. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, be here ready, Jesus is coming soon. Be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. Be ready, be ready, Jesus is coming soon. Be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready, Jesus is coming soon. Be ready, be be ready, be ready, be be ready, be ready, be ready, Jesus is coming soon. Soon. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Jesus, one day, one day, he will come back. He say in the Bible, one day he will come, he will come like a thief. Nobody will know. And that's why you have to be ready. It be daytime, it be nighttime. Praying, repenting, 
and waiting for Jesus. He will come, my sister. Amen. God bless you. I love you, Sister Magdalene. Amen. Be blessed. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah.